hello uh, how you doing guys so uh, now today I'm gonna talk about uh, with you about uh, stock footage and uh, how to export uh, correct uh, video format to for the submission for the stock footage site now uh, now if you look at here I have uh, s uh, loaded some two videos uh, one from uh, stockporto.com a great site for selling photograph and video so they have uh, one one of this video file and you can see the video sizes hd size and sls uh, here on the pon5.com and uh, we have another video file here so uh, the thing is uh, now if you're going to start a stock footage uh, selling business so if you're going to submit your video file uh, to stock site now uh, you may be wondering how to submit it and uh, probably you will uh, have heard that uh, you need to submit a quick time uh, mov file uh, for as a valid f uh, submission file now if you uh, check here uh, technical information window you can see this video is uh, apple quick time uh, format and uh, it shows all the details regarding to the video and uh, the other important thing is uh, the video codec c compressor it's a uh, photo jpeg so if you uh, so uh, that's the basic uh, requirement the video file should be quick time mov with uh, compress with photo jpeg uh, compression codec uh, and actually uh, there's a motion jpeg as well uh, there's a thing about uh, progressive and interlaced video so if the video is uh, progressive video so then uh, you should uh, uh, use uh, photo jpeg codec Interla uh, if the video is interlaced then you should uh, use uh, motion jpeg codec i'll show you that uh, when we are at the software so in this video i'm gonna uh, i'm gonna use adobe after effect uh, and uh, using that software i'm gonna show you how to uh, prepare and uh, export uh, final MOV file which is uh, ready for footage submission okay so uh, here I have a video file which is uh, which I shot from one of uh, from my uh, handy camera Canon handy cam and uh, uh, this video file is uh, I need to edit it now this video file is a uh, 26 second long but uh, I don't need uh, uh, that much of duration as well as uh, I have some uh, uh, video shaking uh, so I need to cut uh, cut that video down and I'm gonna cut it and uh, then I'm gonna export the good portion of that video okay so uh, let me start Adobe After Effect I'm using a CS6 version okay so uh, then uh, once the open is software open so uh, software is open so then uh, you can uh, drag your initial footage to the project window okay, so the window uh, footage is uh, imported to the software and uh, then uh, you need to drag your video footage file into this new composition button so it will create a new comp composition with uh, exact uh, settings similar to your original footage uh, like uh, with similar resolution and similar duration similar frame rate uh, etc okay now uh, uh, now in this video uh, I have some uh, camera shake uh, going on in this area so I know uh, this video is good from around uh, 10 seconds to uh, 20 seconds so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select that area so uh, I can do that uh, I can drag the slider to up to 10 seconds and then uh, press letter B on your keyboard see the timeline is streaming to that point and then you can go to uh, the end point uh, around 20 seconds and press letter N so that down the trimming out the timeline and then uh, you can uh, right click here 
trim comb to work area so it will trim down the selected portion okay and uh, i'm gonna do a little uh, color correction very small i'm gonna take a duplicate of this layer by pressing ctrl d and i'm gonna change the top layer blendy mode to soft light and uh, yes uh, that gave a nice look to it and then then i'm ready to uh, export this this video file as a, a movie file so then you should go to composition add to render queue and another thing is uh, now in this video clip i have uh, i have uh, audio embedded to this video let, let me show you so uh, now in this video i'm going to keep my audio and uh, now normally if you if your video have audio now there should be like environment sound ambient sound uh, but not but no any copyrighted uh, sound any human voices like that so only the ambient sound are uh, possible if there's a human noise so then you should uh, have a model release for talent release for them and as well as if you are submitting uh, animation so then uh, you can't put any sound the sound should be not uh, sound should be mute on animations like computer animations okay all right so uh, here uh, from my case i have enabled my audio and here i have disabled the second layer because i have already have sound here uh, so then i am going to export by going composition add to render queue so then it will open render queue dialog box and here you need to click this lossless yellow text in front of output module this is where we are going to set our all the settings okay so here format format should be quick time okay now if you don't see this option in your drop down so then probably you you have not installed quick time in your computer so then uh, go to uh, search internet for quick time download and then uh, it's a small uh, software uh, around 40 mb something so then you need to install it and then reopen the after effect so then it will present it here quick time okay so select quick time and then you need to go to this format option okay from here video codec should be photo jpeg okay video should be photo jpeg as i explained earlier if your video is animation or if it is a progressive video uh, recorded as a progressive video so then you should use photo jpeg now if you know your video is an interlace video which is uh, uh, if your camera use a interlace format so then you should go for motion jpeg a or b motion jpeg a let's say okay so in my case my video is a progressive video so then i should use photo jpeg and the, uh, the next important thing is quality so stock agencies are uh, asking the set to quality up to 95 not 100 because 100 would be too much uh, uh, too much file size so if you set it to 95 so then uh, it will be uh, enough uh, file size with uh, meaningful file size actually uh, they are telling that the quality can be in between 70 to 95 okay now in my case i'm going to set it to 95 and i'm going to press ok and again here now in my case i need to export audio as well so then you need to press a tick mark here so then it will export audio if you don't want audio so then you can turn off this here 
so I'm gonna turn on here and uh, other settings are okay and I'm gonna press OK and then I'm gonna click this best setting option so here check this the quality should be best and other settings are okay and here you can select the output location by clicking here so for now I'm gonna select desktop and I'm gonna give a name sorry okay so that's it so then you are ready to export so you just need to click render button here so as you can see it's not taking much time uh, it's uh, going fast because uh, this video file format is a quality format so it's not uh, giving any, any much compression that's why it's uh, quickly rendering all right so it's almost done all right so it's done okay so uh, here we go so this is the exported video file you can see file size is uh, 107 MB the length is uh, 10 second and uh, this is the final exported video okay all right so uh, hope you enjoyed this tutorial and uh, thank you for watching it so uh, let's uh, meet on another tutorial so until then bye bye